This is Poi. Um, I reviewed this for the Switch Effect. Um, it's really fun. It definitely reminded me a lot of Super Mario 64 when I first started playing it. Um, what I'm going to do is show you guys the start of it. There better be sound coming through once this starts up. I know it's like dead silent right now, but... Alright, I hear sound. Yeah, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a whole new file just for you guys. And then, towards the end, I'm going to switch over to my file. That should be a lot better. It's Monday. I'm not having a good Monday, okay? Get this kicked over. This is gonna be weird too because everything that I've played on the system, I've played with the controllers attached to the screen, so. This is actually going to be my first time playing like this. So he, he's lost something and he wakes us up from a nap to go help him. Isn't that how all the great heroes start off Nintendo games? How many Zelda games does Link start off passed out in? Alright, so we just got to get up to the tree to get what we, what I already know is the medallion. But yeah, you can kind of tell that it's very reminiscent of old Super Mario 64. Can make a coin with your face looking to the side. I mean, the sound's now too low. All right, thank you very much. I, I definitely want to make sure the sound is right because the, the the soundtrack for this game is so so good. I bumped up the sound a little bit, it should help. Fingers crossed. Hey look, we got a medallion. The Yoshi is mine. Yes, the Yoshi is hers. The Yoshi is hers. So now we gotta go meet him at his ship. Please bring my important item over to the airship. Be careful climbing down. I don't want to be careful climbing down. It's a bit better, but my ears are so bad we need another confirmation. <laughs> Max! Max, come help! Tack wants a double confirmation that the sound levels are okay. You're quite nimble, I can't thank you enough for collecting my Explorer Medallion. What's an Explorer Medallion, you ask? It's a bit of a story. <clears throat> Thank you, Max. So he was traveling the world, collecting medallions. Looking for the Milky Way globe. That's kind of like your end game, like your, your final thing you want to do. Oh no, we hit a storm.
Stop messing your ears up. <laughs> Sounds like chocolate. Everybody needs chocolate. I'm slowly trying to find the rest of my explorer medallions, but it's not very easy for me anymore. Let's get recruited. Alright. I'm doing this for science. Because in my own game, I obviously said yes. But I'm just curious what the game does if you say no. Oh, interesting. Which actually, that's kind of cool because I know that there's supposed to be more medallions in the forest. So, alright, let's go. Let's go actually go on the adventure with him. You make the old man sad if you say no. You don't have to be PG. I'm trying to be nicer on stream. So I just may not be responding in the same way as usual. Ben, a poly, poly kid, sorry. Still waking up a little bit. Poly kid did a great job with this game. Like, when I first fired it up, I was like, because my love for indie games came very late. So I'm still, still discovering really good ones and I, I wasn't sure what to expect when I fired this up and then I, I started it and you can ask Janelle um I got hooked on this thing in like five minutes no they don't they're not on the screen that was the other capture scene that I was using for the retro stuff. I'm actually, I'm gonna bump this up. Let's put it up in the top. There we go. Of course, I bump it up and then my heart life container comes in. Oh boy, now we're moving the whole game. There we go. You don't have to ask for switch time anymore. All right, let me, let me talk to him. So yeah, the sky is like your hub world where you get to access all the other things you wanna. <laughs> I'm looking to the side, there you go. All right, so we're going over there. This, this is one of my favorite things of this whole game, is the way you get around to the worlds. Alrighty, yeah. Give me, give me the thing. Um, you get to just turn this ship around like this. It's so cool. We're going cozy canyon. Don't be alarmed or excited, but I have to refollow you. Yeah, it's totally fine. It's totally fine, Soul, I got you. I completely understand the situation. But they can see in the bottom. No, I'm gonna. The, the YouTube link. There's, there's, there's no chat once the thing's on YouTube. <laughs> Soul Shiny, thank you for the follow and welcome back to the Honest Fam. Or re welcome. How however, we want to word it. Alright, so try to stay on the path to avoid running into enemies, not strong enough to jump on them. I, I like how it gives you the hints on what you're supposed to do. Like. I like that this game kind of trusts the fact that you've played games before and you have a brain. Did you just hear they're taking the hobbits to Isengard? Yes, you did. No, you heard they're taking the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> that is my new follower alert. Um, but no, I love that they, they kind of trust the fact that you have your own brain. Because, like, I've seen way too many 
more current games that, like, they over-explain everything. They're just like, hey, this is how you jump, this is how you spin, this is how you blah 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 blah. But like, these guys are like, they're nice, they're like, you know what you're doing. Like, we'll, we'll give you a tiny hint just in case, like, you don't, but... I don't know, that, that's just my feelings. Is I actually felt like I got trusted to think for myself a little bit. Yes. Take the hobbits to church to exercise the ring of the power of God. I mean, if you think that'll work, it did take almost nine hours just to get to Mordor. Use the D-pad to move around. Hey look, we got a medallion. Basil, how you doing? How's it going? How are things? We gotta have to go back. Would be faster, wouldn't it? No, we don't want to be faster at all. Today is the flower festival. You should go and join the festivities. I'm trying to. Right. Going back up. Yes, I heard today's the annual flower festival. It's going overwhelmed by BlizzCon. Nice. I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. I. Uh, this is this is obviously for. My switch effect team. I, I've kind of become the streamer for the team because I'm the only one on the team that does stream. Alright. I think. Don't I need to go? Yeah, alright. We have to go find the seeds for them. Run away, Fox. See, I have the benefit of, like, I've, I've done all this before, so I get to kind of just show it off to you guys really quickly, but, like I said, in a little bit, I'm going to switch over to my file and show everything that you can do in this game. Excited when they announced the Star Wars movie. Never saw that coming. Never saw Star Wars coming. Why would they milk a franchise? That just seems silly. Oh, we almost, we almost want Chris Black. Alright, so now we gotta get back up to where the Flower Festival was. But do you guys see what I mean about the music? Like, isn't it so, so good and so fitting to the game? Like, maybe, maybe you guys can't weigh in on how fitting it is just yet. Test time. The winner is yellow. Now we gotta come back next year for the next flower growing. But wouldn't you know, 
we can jump on these. Stay vaguely informed. So, th this area that we just unlocked ended up being one of my favorite things. And also, like, one of the most frustrating things. And I'll show you why when I get there. Whoa. Hey, look, we're flying. We're one of those explorer folk. Alright. We have 75 points. Let me try to figure out... Which ones I want to show you guys. I mean, I have them all unlocked in line, so... You guys, you guys want to pick? You guys in chat want to pick? The first... The first two... That get named. I will unlock. If you would like to pick. Otherwise, I'm going to make my own choice. You guys got a minute. Puzzle Tower? Alright. Going with Puzzle Tower. Anybody else? Sky Grid? Alright. We got Puzzle Tower and Sky Grid. Oh, apparently I picked Skygrid first. Sorry, that doesn't... <laughs> Alright, so these are really cool. Each one's got its own little medallion and little puzzle thing you gotta get through. But I will show you... Yeah, hold on, we fell. Hey, first death, but you've been unlocked. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I could make the jump. I guess I know. I know, not to fall. Ah, uh, I'm making horrible jumps right now. Price not stop, but it's okay. I love you, Max! I'm just making bad jumps right now. Hold on, I'm gonna... Um, we're gonna restart the timer on this. Because I want to see how close I can get to their time. Nope. We're skydiving. We're going skydiving. I keep triggering that sign. You come back. We're gonna die. Yeah, we're just gonna keep falling. Alright, we're gonna not die. But I'm clearly not gonna make the time on this one, so... Okay. So, you get the medallion. And then... You can just imagine that those are the same puzzle tower in German. I mean, you know, it gives you their times, and I'm pretty sure Janelle can attest to the struggles I had with some of these, and then seeing their time and just full blown raging, but like in a good way. All right, so I'm gonna show off the puzzle tower one so Max doesn't hate me forever. Oh, you have something to show me. That's right, the Explorer Tools. So he's selling us his tools. 
Yes, Pulse and Tower's coming. I just gotta buy... Oh, I can't buy the shovel yet. Well, let's get the compass. Yes. I, in my file, I waited to get the compass. And then as soon as I did, I wondered why I waited for it. Because it's probably the most useful thing in this game. Hey. Tim! Hi, Tim. How are you doing? Boop him on the nose, throw him off. I don't have to win, Janelle. I just had so many struggles and then I would finish it. Like, I think this one, it took me like a couple of minutes to figure out the right path. And then I got through to the end and I saw their time on it and I was just like, how? <laughs> Come back. Okay, we're gonna be smart about this, because the medallion is at the top point up there. Tim, how was the rest of your stream? This, this is the jump that separates the boys from the men. Okay. You know, when I played on my own, making that double jump up there never worked. I must have just popping it off too quickly. Yeah, that is the puzzle tower. Yes. Happy Max, told you how to get it for you. But yeah, imagine me after taking like three to four minutes to do that and finishing to see the dev time is like 30 seconds. I got a little salty, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're gonna go back to Coast Canyon. Uh, I can show you really quick. It, it takes it takes a number of medallions to unlock the later worlds. But do you see what I'm talking about with like the throwbacks to Super Mario 64? Yeah, we need eight for that one. I think this one's 20. Yep. And then the last one, all the way over on the left, is 40. Pulse of the tower again, please? No. Not right now. I'll do it again when I switch to my five. Cause I wanna I wanna go through this one and unlock the the second world for you guys and show off a little bit of that one. And then I'll go spend some time messing around on my file. And then I may I may pop back to uh, trying San Francisco Rush again. Cause you check the uptime. Gonna move to Cozy Canyon. All right, let me know how that goes. All right, so we have the Explorer book now. So I need eight to unlock the next world. So I gotta grab three more medallions. Good luck. Well, you know what? I already know where some of these things are, so... I think now I have access to the back portion. Oh wait, hold on. We have, we have a chest over here. Um, oh yeah! The compass. Let me, let me go back to the beginning. Well, not the beginning. Just to where I know I have to use it. So. Uh, there we go. So yeah. 
There's these fossils in the game that you have to dig up, but I need the shovel to do it, which I don't have enough coins for the shovel yet. Um, the little like waypoint marker there, the the blue pin thing, um, is a location because there's a number in each world, and you kind of have to find them all. You don't you don't have to. But if you're a perfectionist and you like doing everything, then you'll want to, and that's kind of a cool little check system for you. Right, so one of these things, we need to catch this up. Give me. I know you have. Oh, am I not allowed to get it from you yet? Uh, well then, what's the one I'm looking for? Rocket blast off. Oh, okay. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. We can go back here now. It fell off. Now I can't seem to find it. Can you help me find the missing part so I can continue on mission? Sure. Oh. Right, so he's through the trap and we can up. Um, right, I know it's that way. I know it's behind one of these ha. islands. continue my mission of mapping the world. If you'd like, I can give you a ride in my spaceship. Just jump on in. I suppose. Oh. Alright, I actually have to jump in myself. There we go. I like his sound effects. The My character, the, the one that you play as. Like, there's, there's not one thing about this game that like annoyed me. And like if it if it did it was the more like puzzling aspects of the game. Like you know how when you just get mad at a game because it's just frustratingly difficult in certain areas? Like that was what annoyed me. You know what I mean? We gotta find five keys. Two We got three. Hey, space spider. Oh, damn. He moved. We got four. Has to really jump around it and over it and through it. Me eyeballing destiny. Yeah, yeah, that's a good example too. But like, I feel like that's the kind of frustrations you should have with a game. Like, like I feel like a good game is difficult at points, but not to the point where it like seems broken or like you can't do something you're supposed to do. Alright, now I just gotta figure out how to get back to the ship. This, this took me a little bit when I first played this, because... Up. Up. 
give me spaceship. Right, there's the Earth like planet. There's the Saturn like planet. Destiny is just hard. I mean, everybody has their own skill set. You don't gotta knock yourself. Alright. I think I missed the ship completely. Oh, wait, I see. There we go. I found it by accident. But yeah, I know. I have this on Switch. Um, I'm pretty sure it came out everywhere. Everywhere meaning. I know it's on PS4. I know it's on Xbox One. I think it's on PC as well. But like... If you have the chance to check this game out, I highly, highly recommend this game. And then you can actually, you can switch. And I can be the girl. Right, I'm gonna need two more to get to the next world. Tim! I love you. Did you say something and I missed it? I know you... I feel like I missed something. I know I said hi to you when you came in. Is, is Tim a little sleepy? It's only like six, six something in the morning for you. That's, you know, nothing at all. Alright. Stop. So we gotta go collect keys here now. Tim is streaming. Oh, is he? I didn't realize he didn't end stream yet. <laughs> Tim, you're nuts. Tim, I love you. We're gonna come up here. We gotta collect keys here. One there. One there. Nope, that didn't work. Let's go off of this one. One there. No, you will not pummel me with a rock. No! That is unfair. I'm trying to remember where these all are. Yeah, I did not realize that Tim was still streaming. Tim is insane. But this is why I loved him. Oh, uh, wait, there's four. Oh, crap. I ran into the pink blob. Soul is mine now. Oh, we got four. one up here. Yes it is. I like how I got that Spider-Man pose at the end. screens on this too. 
They just seem like they're, they're so peaceful. Welcome back, Explorer. <laughs> Did you hear something just now? It sounded like it came from the top of the airship. I didn't realize she came in so early. Venturing together now, I suppose I can give you tips and tricks on how to become a great explorer. Are you gonna give me any tips right now? Nope. Oh, can I not? Ah, I did it. Hide and seek, which is funny because we actually have to go play hide and seek with the same person that we just found. Hey. We're gonna play hide and seek. If you find me, I'll give you something extra special. If you want a clue? Let's just say I always want to hide out in my own treehouse. Ready, let's go. See, I got worried a little bit when I first did this one. Because it, it's not, you know, loaded with trees in here, but it's like a woodsy area. So I was like, alright, how annoying and difficult is this going to be? And it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But then, I guess that's like her constant theme is hiding in a tree. Cause in the next world she does it and she hides in a tree again and there's like one tree in the whole world. Should have been eight. I think that's enough to get us to the next world. Welcome back. Doing a great job finding those medallions. There's another world that I think we should try looking in. Welcome back. Welcome back, though. Mount Magma. Turn the ship and take us there. Every game needs a lava world. You can't have a platforming game without a lava world. It's just not doable. mean like those bucket heads. These bucket heads are cool to fight because if you can get behind them, see if I can do it, nope, maybe. You can just run up and kick them. Like you can just like double bounce on their head too, but I like sneaking up and just like kicking them off the world.
Stone Tower's flame has gone out. Mount Magma will not be happy. It will destroy our homes. Please help us before it's too late. Thank you. I'll open the gate. It's dark and scary inside. <sighs> Excuse me. Alright. Now we gotta go up. I was like, I know there's stairs in here somewhere. No! No! Don't fall all the way. Okay. This is going to be the fun part. Oh boy. That triple jump can be scary sometimes. Oh. Oh. I don't know Tim, are you still streaming? Who needs sleep? <laughs> Controller unsynced for a second. I couldn't jump in time. There we go. One cool thing, too. He is still. Tim, you're nuts. You're still nuts. Mike is too pretty to miss out on. Aw, Tim. But. I can wear the bucket head. I'm a bucket head. I am my own enemy now. This game harder than that Cuphead thing everyone's talking about. I I haven't tried out Cuphead yet. But we have a bucket head. Need a bucket hat like that. Isn't it cool? I actually I have a, a screen capture um of I, I like set up a pose in that room of me in front of like those two the statues that were in there tack if you think i'm deserving of it then go for it um all right let me get one more medallion here and then i'm gonna actually switch to my own file the secret ops of course me mm, this one might invoke a little rage this this one took me a bit the first time i did it Well, then go for it, Tack. Um, yeah, no, because this game opens up so much more than I thought it would. As far as, like, places you can go. Like, it's crazy. We're gonna, we're gonna run through and get to the obstacle course. See if I can get the actual course done. Oh crap! I hit something. Give my one of a kind obstacle course a shot. We've got a shiny prize at the end if you can get there in time. Sign me up. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay. We're already falling. We're off to the best start possible. Alright, you flip. No! Aww. Yes, it was a glorious day for death. I was a face cropping. Isn't every day? Alright, take two.
No! Oh, wow. Okay, I've never been up here before. I think I just shortcutted the whole thing. Oh, you're not allowed. Aw, oh, lame. Bet there are people that wouldn't mind. Alright, let's try this again. Don't think, no, I can't do it in the time limit either. Can I just restart it from here? Restart. Okay. I thought I found a little, like, workaround on that. By accident. Oh. I should've just let the timer run out, I didn't realize. I thought restart, like, put me right back at the point. I don't, I don't know. Ah! Bucket head. Almost lost your job. Like, legit. Like, legit, Takaro? Alright. Try this again. Hopefully with a lot less failure and a lot less death. For a little... Oh boy. No! Alright, that was my fault. That was a little my fault. How? A lot less death. You know, I'm trying here. I'm trying here. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, we should be able to jump up. There we go. I'm slightly less concerned then. So, alright. So what do you guys think of the opening of the game? Because I'm going to switch files and go back to mine. And show you guys everything else that there is. But, what do you guys think of the start? Kiho. Alright. So we got to close this. Open it back up under mine. Right? I, I totally agree with Diesel. I'm ready. Play. So yeah, there's a ton more stuff. Cause like, I figured it was just gonna be those four worlds and then done. But that is not the case. Cause then, as you guys saw, the um, the guy with the the puzzle worlds, the puzzle levels. He pops up, but then there's all this other stuff. Like, let's see, how do I want to show? Let's go. Oh boy. Here's where you can change your outfits. I haven't unlocked these yet. This is one of the only things left to do. But we can be a master explorer. Alright, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna end there at the ice one. But, alright, so there's the pirate ship over there. Whoa. What's up, Yalador? Um, there's this one here. Which is 
another challenge area. But they're little flying courses for your little parasail. Oh wait, I should actually talk to this person. Um, let's try the hard one. Let's see how bad I do. Yeah, you get these little like timed obstacle flying courses. Am I gonna miss it? I missed it. Oh boy. Give me the ring. Okay, we're good. Just chilling. That's always fun. It's a good thing to do on a Monday. Ah, crap. Caught the corner. Oh boy, we really caught the corner. Alright. We're working it. We are working it. Let me through. Okay, we got ten more left. Oh no. No, oh, really? Really? Come on. Right, I think I can pull this off. Hey, we did it. We did it. I've already done this medallion. Yeah, so you get those. Um, I showed you guys the little pile where you can dig up the fossils. Um, and the, you're told that there's a guy actually on the Magma World um, who like collects them. And so once you meet him, he starts displaying all of your fossils that you found here. So this is all the ones that I found so far. Um, but he also comes with his own little mini games, which are really cool. These these made me think of like Minesweeper. And I'll show you guys really quick one of them. Ready to go fossil hunting? Ah, oh, I don't have enough coins. I can't show it off. But yeah, so you basically, you sign up for one of the challenges, and then over here, those little fossil piles pop up. Um, I think easy is 3x3 three three grid, the normal is 4x4, four four, and the hard is 5x5. Five five. And so you dig up a pile, there's, there's three fossils and a time limit. And then you dig up a pile, and it either tells you that there's a fossil nearby, a bomb nearby, it's the actual fossil or bomb itself, or it's just nothing. Um, and then, actually, you know what? I'm stupid. I can't show you guys one of them. I'm just going to have to show you the easy one. I, have, I need ten. Six, seven, eight. Will you give me any? You will not. Just 
be another island over here with some more coins. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the easy one. I came unprepared for this. Like how he tells you not to peek, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, you come over. Ah, oh, crap. I need the right tool. Give me my shovel. But yeah, so see, there's a fossil there. Oh no, I got the bomb. There's really nothing I can do about it. But so that that's that's the game. That's the mini game for the fossil digging. Um, the girl that you find on top of the blimp with the, the one that becomes like your hide and seek person, um, she actually, um, has like little milestone check marks for you. So like, you know, take this many steps, you know, make this many jumps, all that kind of stuff. Hey, right, golden gear. What is this? I don't think I ever found this before. This way to mystery miss. All right, guys, we're going to something brand new because I have no idea what this is. This is another thing that popped up that I had no clue was going to. All right, mystery maze time. Let's see what we have to do with this. All right, so my maze of mystery. I put something shiny at the end just for you. If you can find your way there, it's all yours. Oh, I can't do it yet. Give me money. Let me try for free. Let me let me have a free trial. Right, is there coins laying around here somewhere? I don't see any. I think you can just wander off into nothing. So I have something, something to do. Um, what was next? Yeah, there's the other rocket ship guy. You guys saw him. Yahoo! This little ship here. It took me the longest time to figure this out. Because the, um, the forest world, the one that you start off in when the guy wakes you up from your nap, I kept trying to get back there and I couldn't. And I completely skipped through the little scene where that guy pops up and, you know, the old man tells you if you want to go back to the forest, go over here. Yeah, I had no clue. The golden gear. Get some coins too. Maybe we can try out one of those mystery mazes. Key number three. Got number four here. Another golden gear. I will show you guys the importance of the golden gear in a moment. When I get back to the home. Six is down here. Alright, where is the last one? Aww. It's gonna be... It's gonna be hiding, isn't it? Alright. Be right back again, Sol. Really? No, I'm just kidding. You take whatever time you need. I got a key to find, so... Do, 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 do. Right, it's not popping up on the compass anywhere just yet. I wonder if it's in the back here. Yeah, it has to be. It just popped up. There you go. So now I gotta go all the way. 
way back in here. Run, 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 run. I'm going to show you guys the rest of the stuff that kind of comes with the depth of this game. Um, and then, do you want to see me keep playing a little bit more of this, or do you want me to try to switch back over to San Francisco Rush? It's totally up to you guys. Um, I think this is... No, I do not. Not right now. Stop talking to me. Oh crap, I hit yes. Might be. Return. No. Alright, we're just gonna run off the side. Stop! There we go. I had to trick it. Alright, so the Golden Gears comes from this one. She ends up popping up and asks you to find all the golden gears and every time you find five of them if you come back you get a medallion say the last thing is the snowy place. Where is it? There you are. Yeah, so that, that's all the stuff that just kind of like randomly keeps showing up in the sky. Like, I had no idea any of this was going to come up. And then every time something did, I was like, oh, okay, that must be it. And then five minutes later something else would pop up and I was like holy crap this game goes on forever I love it. Yo how's it going Jamie? How we doing? Gone to look like. Alright. So I will show you guys the ice world. Alright so apparently I have to get up on the gondola. I don't know how to. Let's try to cut it off. No, that's not gonna work. No, come back. Climb to this highest point over here. Wait, 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 what's this? What's this? We got a costume. Right, we have a costume. Let me try to figure out another way up here. Nope. 
No. Platforming struggles. Back with fresh life blood. Yeah, seriously. Did you bring enough for the rest of chat? <laughs> okay, go up there. Up there. Stop sliding. Yeah, I don't think I can actually make it up here. can do that though apparently. Hmm. Ah, we can kick him. Nice. There we go. But I think I just gotta ride this thing around and then hop off. Off at the top there. Now that goes over. Yeah, no. Send some down this way. I could really use some. Or if somebody wants to make a Starbucks run. Alright, so you guys good if I show off, um, try, try out uh, San Francisco Rush again? After I get this medallion. Because if I don't stop playing this now, I'm never going to stop playing it. This game is amazing. And exit stage right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Jamie, is that the same ones you were talking about the other day? Yes, yeah, Starbucks one. So yeah, this is Poi. Um... Let me, let me double check. Like I said, I know it's out on all three of the consoles. Let me see if I'm fairly positive it's also on Steam. Yes, it is. So yeah, no, this is on, it's on the Switch, it's on PS4, it's on Xbox One, and it's on PC through Steam. So if you ever get a chance to play this game, do not pass it up. It is incredible. You will not regret it at all. There will be no regrets. I like, like, like I said at the top when I first threw this thing in, um, if you played, if you ever played any bit of Super Mario 64 and enjoyed it, then you will get sucked into this thing. It's so good. So check out Poi. I have it on the Switch. It's a lot of fun. I'm very happy I have this game. You, uh, you 